Hey guys, it's Randy, and this is some sort of video I've been wanting to do. I've checked out people's videos of uh, what films they have scared them as a kid. So I figure I give this a try and show you what movies that scared me as a kid. So, without further ado, let's begin. Child's Play 2. This was my introduction to Chucky. And Chucky scared me as a kid. I first saw this on TV when, when I was about two years old. And when I looked at the TV that when Child's Play 2 was on, I looked at Chucky and Chucky scared me. And as I was crying, that he scared the hell out of me. And yeah, this is people's favorite uh, film in the Child's Play franchise. Yeah, and this is my favorite in the Child's Play series. Yeah, so... Child's Play 2, which is Chucky. The Next one. The original Halloween. Well, um... My introduction to Michael Myers was with Rob Zombie's Halloween, which a lot of people just hate. Which, which was unnecessary to do a remake of John Carpenter's Halloween. Which, that was my introduction to Michael Myers. The original Halloween, a classic. Michael Myers scared me. And what scared me most of Michael Myers is the way he looks and the theme scared me it scared me a lot it scared me a lot as a kid the theme it was just scary and that creepy man right there in the in the white uh William Shatner mask so yeah halloween next one Well, my introduction to Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger um, was when I saw um, Freddy vs. Jason. <sighs> Excuse me. After I checked out Freddy vs. Jason, I checked out uh, some of the Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street films. Part 3. And I have Part 3 right here in this double pack with the final chapter, Part 4. Jason Voorhees, man, that man was tall and scary. I'm tall, but sometimes I I can seem pretty scary to people at times. Me, I'm 6'2", and a lot of times they think I, I look pretty suspiciously scary or something. But that's not the case. I mean, when I was 10, I was, uh, uh, I was like 5'10". Till like um, till when I got into high school, uh, I got taller. All right, back on topic. Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. This will be in in everyone's list of films. It. Pennywise scared me as a kid. The part where Georgie was uh sailing his little paper boat all by himself while his brother Billy was sick. Bill. He, en he meets Pennywise in the sewer and then eventually, he eventually gets killed by Pennywise when Pennywise uh, eats his arm while Georgie tried to get his paper boat back. That scared me. I mean, the, I couldn't imagine that I going out in the rain all by myself and I wouldn't want to go uh, meet Pennywise. Uh, that'd be just so scary. Despite that he, he isn't real, but he is based on uh, based on uh, John Wayne Gacy, which that's what they based him on. They based Pennywise on. Anyways. 
Next one is Freddy Krueger, which is Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3, The Dream Warriors. Yeah, like I said about uh, when I watched Freddy vs. Jason, and then I checked out some of the Friday 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street films. I checked out Part 3. Part 3, that was like... That was like scary. The part where one dude, he was making out with some girl and then he gets his tongue grabbed and it, it just, eh, yeah, that was so scary. Other than that, um, I like this film. I might have to watch this movie and then do a review of it. Next one. This is also in, in people's lists, and and it scared them, especially from going to the beach. Jaws. Mm-hmm. Just to know that I had a fear of going to the beach, but my fear was not, is that I didn't, I'm not, I... I wasn't necessarily scared of sharks, then why am I saying I have this in my list of films that scared me as a kid? Even though I'd never seen an actual shark before. I mean, I've seen pictures of a shark on the internet. My fear of, of the beach was going into the water, and then I just got... I got forcibly dragged into the water. Now, and then as I got older, I didn't necessarily got... I didn't got scared of going into the water. Yeah, um, even though if, if I ever did see a shark, that'd be so terrifying. I would be horrified if I actually saw one in reality. And the part where uh, Quint, he gets eaten by the shark. That is the most terrifying scene that everyone has seen in all of cinema. That Quint gets eaten by a shine shark i'm sorry i just like to make a joke next film that i you've seen my review of this that i did a review on this movie a year ago and i and i did explain the story i used to have hate on this movie the part uh, yeah with all these dolls uh, yeah yeah there are people out there who have scared fear of dolls i kind of had fear of dolls as well what made me scared of this movie was well yes you you heard this in my review on this movie uh that the cover that scared me as a kid that i had so hate for it and then i got bastardly forced to like this movie thanks a lot alex and yeah, the scariest part is that where Mary shot in the morgue, her body stands, and that is is freakishly scary, and kills. Uh, she rips out the, her victim's tongues, and yep, that's just scary. Sucks that this movie was performed poorly, and they canceled a sequel to it, and had. And they forgot about this movie as if it ever existed in the first place. Yep. Yeah. So, that is it one. Next. This is my favorite. Despite that, it's scary. And it's very scary to me. Monster House. I would have said this in to the introduction at the start of this video. That, um, that... It's any movie of any genre that scared me as a kid, not just horror or thriller films. This movie, despite the anim it's an animation horror film, but I still love it. Despite that, um, what scared, what's so scary about this, uh, well, the music and, um, uh, and even scarier is the main menu of this movie and the main menu is so scary it it scared me as a kid it scared me as a kid and 
It was so scary that when you hear the music and you're just looking at the, the monster house as it just stares at you, all of a sudden it does a roar at you. So scary. It was so scary to me as a kid. It might still be scary to me now as an adult now. But, um, yeah, um, Monster House, that scared me. Eh. Here's one that I don't have with me, but I will mention it. Vacations of Terror, which is a, a Mexican horror doll movie, a possession doll film. That movie was so scary to me as a kid that I just couldn't stand with, with watching it with the lights off. It's, it's just so scary. Vacations of Terror, which is a Mexican horror film with uh, with uh, Pedro Fernandez. And you all know uh, I am Hispanic. Yes, see. Si. Next one. Insidious. This movie is so scary. They done a good job with this film. And where you see the demon. <clears throat> the demon was so scary. It still holds up today and it's so scary. The most terrifying film since The Exorcist. Yep. This film is as scary since The Exorcist. Next one, um, Cemetery of Terror, which is another ho Mexican horror film. That film is like The Evil Dead mixed with Michael Jackson's Thriller and that movie, that movie scared me as a kid. And the part where Devlin chases that one girl at the beginning while she was trying to escape. Then Devlin kills her in that elevator part. That's so scary. Next one. Ghost Rider. And I have this one in, in this double pack with Hellboy. Ghost Rider. Um, I love the film. Despite that it does have some scary horror elements in there. The part in it in this movie is where when Blackheart is uh, uh walking in the rain. He's walking in the rain, and then the part uh when he walks in the rain, then all of a sudden he does that that gah face. Wow, that face was scary. I mean that film, wow. It was so scary to me. I think it might be still scary to me today. Uh, as a kid, it was scary to me. As an adult, I think it might be scary to me as an adult now. Thinking I'm still a wuss. Well, I'm not. Next one. Grave Robbers. Uh, which is a another horror Mexican film. Yeah, the, the film was very scary to me. And... Uh, Especially with the, the opening, uh, with the theme. So scary. And what's so scary to me with that film, Grave Robbers, La Drona's The Tumbas, is that um, the part where that one girl, she tried to reach for the keys. Then all of a sudden, um, a demonic monk's axe, um, he chops that poor girl's hand. Ooh, that... That scene really scared me. That was, was so scary. That was so scary to me. Mm -hmm. Last one uh, on my show. The Conjuring. This movie was very scary. I saw this in the theater. Uh, 11 years ago with with my mother and my brother because my mom wanted to see it I didn't have a choice to, to see, I didn't have a choice but I ended up seeing this and that film was so scary the with the uh, the haunted house thing and uh, and the doll Annabelle 
That was so scary. Annabelle, which which eventually it, it, it ended up getting a franchise of its own uh, trilogy. Yeah. Conjuring was so scary. And there was a possession scene. And I have this and this one in this holographic slipcover. Here's the regular case. So that is the films that I mentioned and shown you that scared me as a kid. So, so that is my, so that is uh, the films I show you that what scared me as a kid. Hmm. Oh yeah, and I tried to mention to you about the, um, the main menu part in Monster House. It, it was so scary to me as a kid, uh, might still scare me as an adult now. Try not to watch this at 3 a.m. That'd be terrifying. Anyway, so that is it for now so so if you have any type of videos that you want to request me you can either send it directly to my paypal or feel free to comment down in the comments below um link to to my to my paypal will be in the description below anyway so that is it for for now so Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.